Hello everyone, in uh, previous videos of uh, Cloud App Security, we saw what is Cloud App Security, what are its uh, features. In part two, we saw the conditional access, how to use that with the Cloud App Security for session control. In this video, we will see how to view what Cloud Apps are being used in our organization and also see how to block unsanctioned apps. Here I am in my cloud app security portal. Here I will go to discover and go to cloud discovery dashboard. So this dashboard gives us an insight into what apps are being used in our organization. And uh, here under app categories, we can select by what filter we want to see the app. So currently it is showing us by the traffic. So the most traffic currently being used is by IT services apps, then webmail, social networking. We can filter it by transactions as well. Here it's uh, showing the IT services apps are you having 504 transactions and it's in blue color. So currently these uh, apps are not either sanctioned or unsanctioned, but we have an option. We can mark them unsanctioned or sanctioned. Here I am seeing the app list and it's sorted by the traffic. I also see the app uh, headquarter locations. So all the apps are currently showing in United States. We can go under discover apps for deep diving into uh, the data. We can do a filtering here. We can go to advanced. We can create many filters based on risk score, app tag, app domain and other things. Here I see what all apps uh, have been utilized in my organization. So all the apps are in green only linkedin is in uh, yellow so if i go under linkedin i could see that uh, it does not meet these security parameters like remember password user role support under compliance it does not meet iso these iso 27001 uh, 27018 soc2 and what all compliance it meets what legal compliance it meets and does not meet in first video we saw that we can import logs from uh, firewall we can go here we can go to log collectors and we can import logs from firewall or set up uh, automatic uh, firewall logs uh, importing in cloud app security once we do that we get uh, all the apps which are being used in our environment from the firewall logs and we can see that in the cloud app uh, discovery dashboard however in my case i haven't uh, imported any logs but as in the last video, I set up a conditional access. So the data was flowing through cloud app security as it was acting as a proxy. So that's how I see these apps here. So if I see here under data sources, I see cloud app security proxy. So now as we see the apps listed here, uh, it's up to us whether we want to sanction them or unsanction them. In this video, I will show you how to block those apps. So first of all, we will have to mark those apps as unsanctioned. For example, LinkedIn, if I want to mark it as unsanctioned, I will click here. Both Akamai and LinkedIn are unsanctioned now. So it does not mean that they are blocked. In order to block them, I will click here and generate a block script. So it will ask me for which firewall you want to have this uh, block script. So for example, I could select uh, blue code proxy and it will create a script for me, which I will import it in my blue code proxy firewall. And it will be this, uh, these apps will not be allowed in my organization. Then if we do not have one of these uh, firewalls listed for which we can generate the script, we can give the list of URLs to our firewall team and they can block it on firewall or we can set up a Windows group policy to block them through Windows uh, firewall or we can uh, block them through Windows uh, Defender for endpoint. So this was a small video on how to view what apps are being used in our organization, see their security score and how to block those apps. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.